Hello YouTube, my name is Finn Erlen and I'd like to show off my plain wall here. It's a little more interesting than a plain wall if I go like this. Three pistons drop down and revealing three droppers. If I put three swords into here, one into here, and five into here, something else happens. Revealing a secret room, which is filled we have legitly found diamonds, at least in question. So let me just go hop into a creative world and I'll show you the redstone behind us. Alright, so now I'm in my creative world here and I'll explain how this all works. So I'm using swords and signal strength because each one of these swords counts as a full stack of items. So this combination is 5, 2, and 2. And the door will open. Now if I take these swords out, the order I put those swords in was important to how this lock works, so I'll explain in a second here. So this time I'm going to move from the left and go to the right. Exact same combination, nothing's changed except for the order I put them in. As you can see, the door will not open. That's because in addition to having the right combination, you need to know the right order to put your swords into the droppers. So this is the combination here. In these droppers, they go into. They are detected with this comparator and go into this comparator, only allowing this amount of swords or greater to go through. Now, in addition to that, I've decided that I want there to be a certain order that you have to put the swords in to add just a little more layer to difficulty to the thing. So, if you activate the left or the right first, it'll block out the middle signal. Now, if you now I want the second one to be the right one. Now if you activate the left one first, or second, it will be locked out as well. So now you're probably wondering what's with this layer of droppers here. It has nothing to do with what I explained so far, and you're probably wondering what this little bit of logic here is for too. Each one of these droppers contains a sword over what they have set in here. And they go into this comparator, which will allow that signal strength of or greater to go through. So watch what happens when I put one sword into here. These swords will get locked, uh, you'll get locked out of the system. Even if you take the swords out, they still won't drop down. That's because I figured as a person who created this, you should probably know what the combination is. And... Instead of people just spamming swords into your droppers and eventually figuring out the combination, this is basically a do or die kind of thing. So over here we have a mono stable and a T flip flop. This piston will retract, cutting off this signal here, which will in turn extend these pistons. There is a reset. You just have to make sure you have the, all the your swords out, or at least the one that's over, or this will just get activated again. So I'll reset, and these will drop back down. Give you a quick look at the redstone here, and thank you for watching.